Hello everyone. About five years ago I gave up my day job. I've been a Wikipedia editor since 2003 and I became a freelance consultant so that I could work as a Wikipedia in residence at museums and art galleries, places like this. Well, I actually worked in the stables around the back of the building. Uh, in 2012 I came up with an idea on Wikipedia which was to record the spoken voices of the people we write articles about. And the reason I wanted to do that was A, so that we know what they sound like for posterity, but B, because with a name like mine, how it's pronounced is important. And very uh, pleased to say that Stephen Fry is one of the people who recorded his voice for us. Many other people have. And if you know somebody with a Wikipedia article about them, please ask them to do so. When Stephen Fry tweets about you, your Twitter stream goes mad, by the way. This work led to me being invited to work with the BBC on a number of projects. Uh, to start with, I got them to release clips of radio programmes from the air under an open licence, which means anybody can reuse them. And then I got asked to do some work on Desert Island Discs, a programme that started in 1942 and is still going. So there are about 3,000 people who have been on it, all of whom had a Wikipedia biography apart from the last 150, and they asked me to write those. And I thought, half an hour each, that'll be really quick. Till I found people like this, William de Geer St George, uh, who was an aristocrat who took up a job as a shoe black or a shoe shine. Uh, this woman, Jeanette Spinner, very boring, I thought. She managed a, a French couture house. What do I know about French couture? But when I started researching her, she was Jewish. She'd moved to Paris and married a Jewish French doctor and they got caught up in World War II and escaped by cycling through the front lines and then helped airmen to escape and helped the Americans once they took over the city and for which she got the American uh, Medal of Freedom, their high civilian honor. <coughs> but the one I really want to tell you about is Henry Wheeler because the only things you could find out about him online was people saying who the hell is Henry Wheeler and why was he on Desert Island Discs? <laughs> Uh, he wasn't famous at all, and this was all I was able to write about him. He was born in 24 or 25, he joined the Navy, he went into the war, and they had him on desert island discs, not because he was famous, but because he was isolated on an island. Not a desert island, but one in the North Sea. So I wrote that. Then I wrote a blog post about it, asking anybody and everybody to tell me more about it. Uh, I basically said, you know, who, who knows the story of this? I can't find any more out. And then I went on social media and tweeted the shit out of the thing. I spammed everybody who had a connection with Bath, which is where he was from, saying, can you ask your followers, your students, your listeners, your readers, to ask, answer this question? Not one bugger retweeted me. But one of my Twitter friends wrote to me and said, my friend works at Bath Library. In fact, she's the local historian there. And she has got lots of information for you, but she's not on Twitter. So she's going to email you, and eventually I got this email, and look at all this lovely information, because a friend of a friend was able to find it for me. We got the fact that he married somebody with a Dutch-sounding name overseas, and on his Desert Island Disc program he talked about his Dutch girlfriend. Maybe that's her, who knows? Then another friend of mine got in touch and said, I'm sorry it's taken so long, I had to go up in the loft to find this book. But this book talks about the British Forces Network, part of the army, working with the BBC to broadcast Desert Island Discs on the right date from Norderney, which is a, a Bratwurst-shaped island off North Germany, near the Dutch border, uh, but in the North Sea. There's his Desert Island. So we finally found out, with a bit of detective work, where he was from, where he was from when he did the programme. So the article was expanded, and we have a little bit more information about him. Uh, that's turned up since. And this is how Wikipedia articles work. You don't just sit down and write it all from scratch. You build something up a little bit at a time. We then put the information into Wikidata. For those of you who are geeks and coders, Wikidata sits alongside Wikipedia and has statements like this person is male, this was a human, this person was in the Royal Navy, and you can write computer programs to query it. The BBC used that to populate their database and their web page on Henry Wheeler now links to my Wikipedia article and to the other 149 that I wrote for them as part of this. So why am I telling you all this? Well, Wikipedia is like the proverbial stone soup. You all know the analogy, I hope, where people put one vegetable into a soup of stone until everybody has a good meal. And you can do that. 
You could put one fact into Wikipedia when you get home tonight or in your coffee break at work tomorrow, and you can help build the encyclopedia that everybody uses. Thank you very much.